sitting at Gordon's again this evening. I just really like this spot. It always seems like there's a lot of does that come up, up in here to eat on these oak trees that surround me, eat the acorns that fall on the ground. So there's also a good scrape right down here below me that we've got our camera on. And there's tons of bucks that hit it, but a lot of times it's in the nighttime. There's, oh, there's actually a doe right down below me just now. I just saw it. So uh, looks like the deer is starting to move. So hopefully one of these bucks will come in here and hit the scrape. And hopefully it's one that I want to shoot. Uh, should be interesting to see what the deer do this evening. It's a lot less windy than it has been and uh, not quite as cold. So I think they should be more likely to move tonight than they have been on past nights. So we'll see what happens. Well, darn it. That's as close as you can get to shooting a buck without actually getting him. He was just 10 yards across the fence. Ah, oh, I was so close. I was hoping he'd come hit that scrape that we've been getting pictures of him on, but uh, he didn't come do that. So that was the one I was after. I decided after watching him from a distance that I was definitely going to shoot him. He's the one of the best bucks we've got on camera, and he's really matured. He was pushing around that younger buck, so... <sighs> it was frustrating, but that's all right. That's why we call it hunting. So definitely going to take a couple days off. I've got state cross country this weekend, so I won't be back out till November. That's going to be it for me till November the 1st. So definitely going to get after it after that. I'll be hunting a lot and uh, hopefully get that buck or one of my other ones on the ground. of the of what I think is his core area. Uh, 
next to you, there's a bunch of thick bedding over here to my north, and there's some kind of this brushy pasture that I'm in. The doe is kind of like to come out here in bed, and I've already, actually already seen some behind me when I could see him in the moonlight coming out here to bed. So hopefully I can get eyes on him this morning, or it's just excited, exciting to be in the stand on November the 1st. Uh, great, it's going to be a great start to my favorite month of the year. I brought the decoy in here this morning also, so hopefully I can get eyes on Finitary and maybe even get him in here and close to this decoy, so we'll see what happens this morning.
does it for us tonight. Got about 15, 20 minutes of daylight left. We'll uh, I'll bring you any footage. Got this last 15, 20 minutes. Fairly uneventful except for a little six pointer and curly. Man, Curly was actually tracking where that six pointer come in behind me. And man, if he'd have come just this side of Big Oak here, instead of he headed down towards the six pointer, but man, so close. He didn't want anything to do with the grunt. So, man, after he made that rub, I thought he'd come to a grunt, but he was willing to face off of that six-pointer, but he didn't want anything to do with me. It was good seeing him, and I'll be right back in here, maybe tomorrow night, depending on the wind, and uh, definitely next week. Got another cold front coming in. High pressure, so... I'll keep you updated on my progress, but the chess match has begun with Curly, so hopefully we'll bring you more good footage here next week. Thanks for watching Midwest Whitetail. Great play. So I'm settled into the tree. Um, I just love this setup. I'm, I'm excited. Uh, I checked the camera. Uh, probably 200 yards up here uh, three days ago and there are three different shooters in here two of them are in daylight not consistent not like they're showing up every day or every other day or anything like that but tonight is supposed to be an early good night um, feels good weather is great we uh, rain most of the morning and now it's completely shut off. It's supposed to be sunny this afternoon. Kind of nice northwest breeze. I love evenings like this. I didn't know what my wind would do down here on this, this back end because I'm in really deep draw. Um, pretty high ridges on each side but so far my scent just keeps wanting to go down away from where the deer are and where they're coming from. My neighbors um, they have cows and uh, it's shortly grazed cattle pasture that's my winds blowing into I've got food plot cover um, plenty of food I got red oaks right in front of me I've got a decoy set at 22 yards and uh, I've already seen one deer <laughs> I scared it off when I went and put the decoy up so uh, hopefully tonight is an epic night I, I've been looking forward to looking at the Looking at the weather, I've been looking forward to this day for a while now, so it's finally here. I'm set up. It's early, and uh, hopefully the sun comes out. I think the deer will be moving, hitting this green tonight, so hopefully tonight is the night.
it, so I missed that buck a little bit, a little bit ago. Um, I did watch the footage, and he did duck a little bit. Um, I got a pretty good gash in his back, but I mean, it's a flesh wound. It's not. It's nothing serious. Um, I'll, I'll look for blood. You know, do my due diligence, right? But uh, I just want to talk about what went wrong. You know, that buck was standing there at 23 yards, and he was uh, quarter and two, just slightly. He has his front leg, I think, was back just a little bit. Um, I probably should have taken that shot. I have uh, a really heavy arrow. Um, I think uh, 530 grain, something like that. Not not super super heavy, but. I could have got through whatever I needed to in the front there on that buck. That's the shot that my bow set up for. I don't know. The other thing that was that caused me problems was my uh, my harness tether. Um, it, was, it was so tight. I was trying to get back far enough so I wouldn't shoot my camera. Um, so it was really tight to my side of my cheek where I anchor. So I, it was just unfortunate situation. I finally got anchored and felt confident in the shot, but it is what it is. He did drop quite a bit, like I said, but uh, if he hadn't dropped, yeah, I probably would have killed him, but it didn't work out. It's a uh, youth season, and we are uh, in a blind on uh, one of our bigger food plots. We're down in a, we're surrounded uh, by timber back in this holler and uh, there's really in a blind the only way you can hunt it but it's uh it's just got a mix of clover and grass back here but it's we got a picture of a real real nice buck up here it's you season morning it's cold we got a frost on and uh, it's a good morning so we're excited this is Rhett's first year to be out here youth hunting, so we'll see what we can do. Buddy, are you pumped up? Yeah. 